Squeezer 101 Adventures here, and we are here with another MC video. And we are back with our part 2, episode 2 of our Let's Play Minecraft 1.3. So as you see in the beginning, I start off slaying a few monsters and mobs and just block off of this monster spawner with sand. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode, and this one is even better with part 2. And basically it's mining, uh, house designs, a little bit exploring for caves, all that good stuff. And I'm sorry about the view right there. As you see, it's hard to tell what's in my inventory and what isn't because I did not know I was recording it. the screen so small. Because as you see, as you see, there's a Minecraft like bar. You can see that stuff, the X button and all that. So I'm on the surface around here and a spider gets me from behind to kill that. And then there's an enderman and I just ignore him. And right now we're just going to start looking for a mine. I look around up there, see if there's any coal, but no. So please enjoy guys. This is awesome. Um, 1.3 is awesome. 1.3.2 to be exact. And I actually found out the texture pack for real. It is Faithful Venom, and it's 32-bit. Uh, I do not know if there's a 64-bit, because my computer is a 64-bit, so I could use that, but I haven't put my time in searching into that. But as you see here, 32-bit works just good. Run. But there is a few blocks I think you need MC Patcher for, because as you saw that fire animation, I think that, that I don't know if that's just the texture pack, but I think that is MC Patcher. And as you see, I find a cave right here on the side of the mountain, so I'm going to explore this. Falling down, and I'm just, that's a dead end up there. And a little later, I changed my sensitivity down, because I thought it was too high, but in the end, it really wasn't right here. Put some sticks, at, and then I decided, oh, I thought, well, I have to have coal first, duh, to make torches. So, get some of that coal right there and then I'll make some torches so please rate comment and subscribe to this video and please rate and comment to this video and subscribe to our channel wizard 101 adventures it's glad I we very appreciate we appreciate that we appreciate all your support guys we yeah we just hope to keep growing and to be an awesome channel which we are, we think we are so far, we just need more subscribers and stuff and we will keep on posting these videos for you guys and as you may know if you are a MC PvP follower or a Hunger Game follower uh, the two new kits are Launcher, Launcher and Survivor but I just, you can't get them right now and it is Friday, It's but they said those kits should have been out last Friday and it's now this Friday, the week after and I still do not see them on the website, but I will check a little later. And as soon as they come out, I'm going to make a kit review on one of them or both of them. Well, uh, I won't make one on any if they're not good, of course. But if one's good, then I'll make one on that. If they're both good, I'll make two kit reviews, one for each. So that's that. And right here I found some more coal. And I also will be posting a kit PvP video probably soon, just all about kit PvP. That's a really fun really fun uh, uh, server to play on servers it's a really cool thing that mcpvp.com has invented and I spend some of my time on that besides Hunger Games all the time even though that is of course my that's the majority of my time on the Hunger Games so it's cool so yep here I got some coal 22 coal to be exact after making those torches I turned the sensitivity down here because for some reason the mouse is being so sensitive. But in the end, it actually wasn't that the sensitivity wasn't that high. This is that beautiful seed you saw in episode one. Uh, seed I gave you guys, and I'll put that in the description for this video. And I do that block hit skill on that dead bush or weed or whatever they call it these days. And I just decide to go back to the pyramid, and I was in the end. I'm gonna make a new mining slash cave system thing. I was just gonna uh, make my own, try to find a cave 
in this pyramid just to mine down staircase and hopefully find something right here I just take that wool I have no clue why I did that but I just block it off with cobble because I decided to keep that wool so I do and I start lighting up this pyramid just a little tad just to make it brighter there's the monster spawner and uh, it's a really cool, fe cool feature. Feature oh, when I put glass up, it's really cool. So as you see, I'm chopping all that sand down so it doesn't get in the way. And I, there's an open space, an extra open space up there, but I do not go get that. So yeah, that's that. And I come back over here. I want to get in the monster spawner so I can mine this back wall for its cobble before it turns night and I can get that supply to make furnaces and smelt the sand to make uh, glass all that stuff so I can smelt iron once I find some so that's that yep so as you know the seed if you saw in the first episode that's when I discovered this pyramid and it had two emeralds in it some golden iron so I decided to make some armor after I make these furnaces right here and I'm gonna use those these furnaces. I made two furnaces. I'm gonna use these for smelting sand, and that will help me get glass. So I split it in half of the coal, and that's 22 coal total, so 11 coal per furnace. Right here, I make an iron chest plate, and then with the extra two iron, make an iron sword. So my original plan here with, with the, was with the gold was to make a helmet and boots, but I was trying to like get that, and then I end up making a leggings on accident. But it doesn't matter. So the more like I don't know, this doesn't matter. So there's an iron chest plate and a gold leggings. That's awesome. 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 Okay got my swords, my weapons, my tools, and I forgot I need another stone pick, which you'll see in a second after I place the sand in. I try to estimate how much I need, but I need more way more than that in the end. But yeah. So once again guys, rate, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to our old channels, uh sub channels that we subscribe to, subscribe to this channel of course and yeah just the the more views the more videos the more subscribers the better the videos um, as I said in my last video and I've said in quite a few videos now I am still expecting my new computer to be here around September 1st and once that gets set up really quickly I will have these awesome videos that I am waiting for which will be really cool so I decided to mine off that cobble so I can get a better view at looking at this spawner. And I just cover the top up with cobble and I realized I don't have any more cobble so mine that part down too. And it's going to turn night soon I think but I don't know for sure. And this is a really cool seed once again like I've been saying it's I really highly suggest you guys check, check this out. and uh. Faithful Venom once again is the texture pack if you want to check that out as well. And uh, yeah, so just enjoy some, just continue to enjoy this video. And I'll just talk about the game, what I'm doing. I'll just talk about other stuff as well that I think of. I don't know. Just stuff I'll be talking about. So right here I'm mining down the, co uh, the sandstone. I'm going to make my own mine and we'll just be mining for a while and I will open the uh, what is it called the coordinates F3 I will be opening that and I forgot to close it so you, it'll be up there for a little while but it just ignore that too if that bugs you just try to ignore it I'm sorry if, if it does is it if it's a problem for you and as I you I hear uh, Enderman noise, so I try to clear this uh, dirt out, and I have no luck, like nothing. I don't find anything, so because after a while I just decided to give up looking there and just continue to go down. 
and uh, I'm looking forward to posting more MC PvP videos, which I said I said that I won't be making any more until I get that new computer, which is true. So I just can't wait to do those because one game I was planning on recording, but I didn't because now these days on this not too good computer, it's not a computer to laptop, but it's not that good. And the recording is it's still pretty good, I guess, but it's when I like attack in the Hunger Games or something, something just always goes wrong and I die of something like messed up. So it, I die a lag and I hate that. So one game I was planning on recording and I was playing as Ender Mage and I ended up getting nine kills that game before dying and finishing second place. I had all the diamond armor, but one I pulled one guy up on my pillar. He knocks me off the edge, and I fly off a gigantic freaking mountain and land and fall to my death. But I did have full diamond armor that game, a diamond sword as well. And so their attacks did nothing to me. The only way they got to me and killed me was that giant mountain, hitting me off a giant mountain. So it was pretty sad, but I got nine kills that game. I, geez, it was amazing. Like, uh, like, that at one point, there was a, like, a six man team or something. I don't know if it was a team, but two people dropped into my cave, and then I slayed them both. Like, it was so awesome. Like, they didn't expect me to, like, be so powerful or something. They thought I was a noob. I don't know what they thought, but they jumped on in, and I just slay them both. And then, Two more, like right after that, a couple more come down. I slay them both again. There's four down, right there, and I'm like, wow, I'm actually doing pretty good. And like, well, I mean, it's un I'm unexpecting this, but since it's a cave, I have enough space to react and you know kill him. So and then like right after that, a cookie monster comes down. I dodge its cookie attack and then just kill him in a couple hits. And then that's another cool kill. And then an Ender Mage, I notice his name tag above me at the, like the same time that cookie monster came down. Notice his name tag, and he tries to port me up. I think that's what he was doing because, yeah, I saw a light, like a brightness, and I, that was probably his portal. And then he easily gets really mad and just jumps on down to kill him easily. And I only had an iron sword, I think, but and, but they only had stone swords. Like one guy actually had a chest plate and something, and I killed him still. It was a really good match. I liked that match. And that would have been like, you would have saw that like six, seven, seven kills in a row or something. You would have saw that. that was, it was amazing. And then you would have saw me at the feast, owning that feast. I killed a couple guys at the feast as well. So, I mean, that was just an ultimate, really awesome game. And I just, <laughs> see, if I have my new, that's why I, when I get my new computer, I'm going to record no matter what. So. As you see there, I broke a little slot in the glass because I wanted to kill those spiders whenever I wanted for like loot. So it's like, just a spider loot thing. And I skip ahead down to me back down in the tunnel mining for a cave. So I'm going to skip ahead a little here. And because none of you want to see this mining down, I bet. And, and I encounter another dirt pit, but I am 0 for 1 already and 0 for 2 because I don't find anything from this dirt. So that's that, and yeah, I mean, it's going to be good. I'm going to record like every PvP match I do with this new computer. So if something like a miracle, like that seven, like seven in a row kill happens, I mean, I got that on tape. So that would be amazing if I got that again, but I doubt it. That was so amazing. It was just, it was like, like boom, kill, boom, kill, boom, kill, back to back to back, like that. Right here, I'm dying of hunger. I decided to eat some rotten flesh, and I I'm two for two right here. I eat two flesh and don't get poisoned, but my last flesh I do get poisoned. I just had to eat that, so I skip ahead. I mine even further down, and I encounter this cave. So far, I don't see any mobs or anything, and then right around this corner, I see iron and a spider. And that spider's no match for me. And I think right over there is a ravine, which I will explore later, I think, in this episode. But, yeah, there's some iron right here. I'll block off that water as well. 
head back to the iron, mine that up, that's a good chunk of eight, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't know, six, I think, it's a good chunk of six right there, I thought it was eight, I don't know why, but I was just guessing, so I head down there, I just want to explore now, and it's cool, I decided to get the moon. Minerals later. I did not fully explore this cave in this episode. But, yeah. So, there's some ores. And we, it looks like we're coming to a close. Um, thank you for watching once again. Rate, comment, subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, we'll check out our other videos. Check out the 3S on View videos. Tell everyone. Tell your friends. Tell people. People that you know. Tell them to watch these videos. It's very helpful. And it's like awesome and it's really helpful like I said and here's the ravine and I noticed some iron right over there and lava and I decided to get that iron but yeah so we will have more special videos for like 5,000 views or 30 subscribers no 25 subscribers so thank you for watching we will see you later uh, peace